Seven million Victorians are waking up to day one of their fourth lockdown this morning. A seven-day circuit breaker to fight off a third wave as authorities try to get on top of a highly infectious COVID strain that has escaped into the community. Contact tracers now faced with the enormous task of tracking 14,000 potential close contacts. As it stands, there are 34 active cases, one of those in intensive care. So let's bring you up to speed with where things are at this morning. Right now, there are only five reasons for Victorians to leave their homes. They are essential shopping, essential work, caregiving, medical appointments and to receive a COVID vaccine. Exercise is limited to just two hours a day with one, per, one other person and within five kilometres of your home. And kids are off school with online learning back next week. Shopping is limited to click and collect. Hospitality venues are takeaway only. And once again, gyms, hairdressers, community facilities and entertainment venues, well, they're all closed. All public gatherings are banned. Funerals limited to 10 people and weddings will only be allowed under exceptional circumstances. And masks are once again mandatory at all times in public, both indoors and outdoors. We have special coverage for you this morning with our team of reporters following the fallout across the country. First to today, Melbourne reporter Christina Hearn, who's at vaccine, a vaccine site in Heidelberg. Chris, good morning to you. How are Victorians responding this morning? Carl, it's a case of here we go again in Victoria. This is our 160th day in lockdown if you take into account our previous three shutdowns. As the city of Whittlesea cluster grows to 26 and the exposure sites have exploded to around the 150 mark, put quite simply, our contact traces are overwhelmed and the Victorian government says this is the circuit breaker we need in order for this cluster not to become increasingly uncontrollable. With revelations that one case actually spent 10 days in the community from the time they got symptoms to the time they eventually got tested. Testing sites were once again overwhelmed around the state yesterday. Many turned away. Others had to wait more than four hours before eventually getting a test. The Victorian government does say our seven-day lockdown may end early depending on case numbers, but our chief health officer says don't get your hopes up. Seven days is like a billion years. It's really tricky to look ahead that far. We just need to follow one day at a time. In a welcome site, there was also long queues at vaccination hubs like this one yesterday. More than 30,400 people turning out to get a jab. That is a record in Victoria and the state government will be turbocharging the rollout further today because those aged between 40 and 49 will be eligible to receive the Pfizer vaccine. Bookings are essential and the hotline crashed yesterday because it was simply overwhelmed. Not surprising after the acting Premier said this is the most contained strain of the virus than we've ever seen before.